What's going on guys, this is SJ Sports, welcome to Faces back to a brand new video. As you can see, we're back with our Legion United career mode, this is episode number two. And first of all, thank you so, so much for your support on episode one, it was amazing. Like, you guys said the passion that I bring to this episode, to episode one, to this series, was really good. And that's probably because I support Leeds in real life and it is close to my heart. So I know the team like the back of my hand and you guys have, have picked up on that and you've some of you have commented... And you've said, basically, that you like people that do career modes with the team that they support because they know the team like the back of their hand. My word, do I know Leeds United like the back of my hand. So, if it's your first time around here, boys, remember, hit that subscribe button, ding on the notification bell, and also leave a like on the video. That will be absolutely absolutely appreciated. So, let's get on with this episode. I'm going to do two games this episode, um, just because I'm a bit tight for time and stuff and... And whatnot. I've, I've literally come home. I've sat down. I've hit record. I'm uploading my Youth Camera Regions episode 40 right now. Uh, and it's pro having problems pushing to the sub boxes because YouTube's having a bit of a fit. Um, so I've got to keep an eye on that whilst I'm recording this as well. So, end of last episode. Um, Stuart Dallas has agreed personal terms with El Nasser. Uh, and we actually sold him for just over a million pounds. But the board have allocated is £750,000 to our current transfer budget. So at the end of last episode then, we was taking a look at a few goalkeepers, uh, Tom Heaton, Phil Foden, uh, and Joe Gomez. We managed to get in, um, not Rob Holding, Holgate from Everton, a centre-back, which we definitely needed cover because Jensen was, is out injured, so we needed cover for that position anyway. We need that cover anyways. Um, and it's funny because I saw a tweet on Monday and I put it out on Twitter um, that actually, apparently, in real life, Leeds are looking to sign Tom Heaton on loan in, in January. So, they may have been watching my uh, my series, who knows. I doubt it, I doubt that, but uh, it's just a coincidence, isn't it, that that has happened. So, the guy that I am interested in is this guy, Phil Fordin. I think we've saw Baker at the end of last episode, so we're a little bit light in midfield there. And also, we have sold Stuart Dallas to try and get the funds to be able to try and go in for Phil Ford. And that is what we're going to do now. We're going to approach to buy him. We can't loan him because Man City say they don't want him to loan him. So we're going to have negotiations with Pep Guardiola. So nice to thank you. Uh, nice to thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Let's get started, shall we? Certainly, Pep. First of all, let's decide on what type of deal we want to pursue. So we want to offer a transfer fee. Uh, and it's valued at £7 million. Pounds. I'm going to try my luck with eight. See what they say. Uh, we'll submit the offer. Hopefully Pep thinks that's a decent amount of money for him. Uh, if we hold to skip this, uh, that's a better offer. We'll accept the transfer fee. We also want to include a sell-on clause and receive 4% of the transfer fee if we sell for them in the future. 4%. That's not going to be a lot. I will accept that. So it's looking like we'll have negotiations with Phil Foden. Um... Me and Man City, uh, me and Guardiola, or Bielsa, I should say, have actually um, agreed terms. We shook hands, uh, and it's looking like Foden is going to come into the club. So, let's go and negotiate. Can we, can we negotiate from this screen? I think we can straight away. Yes, we can. So, we're going to negotiate uh, Foden's contract. His current wage is £31,500, which is a hell of a lot of money. Uh, Janssen's shirt in the background then. Um, discuss his role at the club. I'm going to go with important, see if they counter it, see what they come back with. Uh, great, that's what they was hoping for. There we go, my uh, video has gone live on YouTube. That's the, the little notification there, so that's taken care of. Um, my client's happy with the role we're offering. Let's get back to this episode very quickly. Uh, okay, I suppose we should talk about the length of the contract. My client wants a three-year deal. I want more. I'm going to counter. I'm going to go for four years. The length of the contract doesn't work for us. However, we're willing to offer for a four-year deal. He shook his head then. He's happy with the length of the contract that we've offered. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My client isn't looking to add a release clause. That is what we like to hear. Uh, so we're going to accept that. Uh, we'll skip that. This is pointless there. So this is what he... This is what he wanted. Moving on, I want to discuss his wages and other financial matters. Given the quality of my client, we believe he deserves to be on £21,000 a week and also require a signing bonus of £190,000. And when he does get 10 goals, he wants £250,000. It's a bit weird. Like He's taken a massive price cut uh, on his weekly wage. Quite a lot. It's nearly ten thousand pounds more. It's over ten thousand pounds more. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna accept it. Money's not an issue for us at this moment in time. Uh, and this is the guy that I want to sign for the future. He will improve. We've managed. We shake. We shake hands. And it's now Foden is looking like he is going. Is he in the squad? Is he come straight away just like that? Uh, let's take a quick look. See if he is in here. 
Uh, I'm sure it will be. Uh, there he is, 73 rated. Oh, yes, Phil. Welcome to the club. Great agility, which I like in a centre midfielder or a cam. Um, good dribbling, good ball control. Short pass is decent. Three star, three star, medium, medium work rates. Looking quite good. Five foot seven. Um, I don't understand this here, like, playmaker, CPU, AI only, technical dribbler, CPU, CPU, AI only. So basically, we don't have those traits, as I'm reading into that. He's not a playmaker, he's not going to be a technical dribbler, because it's only when the computer's controlling him, which is a bit, which is a bit daft, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I didn't want to change it for Clark, I want to put Clark on the bench. Um, oh, wow. We'll take off. Ugh, I don't know what to take off here. Uh, we'll go with Blackman, we'll take him off. Uh, and we'll continue forward. So that's our second signing of the season. It has taken a huge chunk out of our budget, as you can see. We're now our transfer budget is at two point one million pounds. And just looking at the squad, we've got a good cover in centre midfield now. We've got like Phil Phillips, size and click that didn't start in eleven. We've got good cover on the wings. We've got we've got good cover up front. Just one striker really. Oh, I've got Roberts as well on the bench. Um, but Roberts, I don't feel will feature much. This season, I feel like um, alone will be suited best for him. Uh, but we have got players that can come on and change the game for us if necessary. At present, we've got obviously Foden, our new signing, Izzy Brown and Harrison that can come off the bench. And Patrick Bamford, of course, as well. Uh, for sure, if we're one up, we need to see out the game. For sure, can come on and give us a bit of stability in front of the back four, which we'll be looking to probably do uh, at a later date. I won't mind a bit more cover on the wings but with the budget we've currently got at two million pounds i feel that I, well, we're not going to get a good quality of player in there so next game of the episode then uh, we're going to play in our away kit we are at derby county we absolutely blitz these the second game of the season 4-1 if i remember rightly 4-1 roof getting two goals um, I think i think right roof did get two goals and we absolutely blitzed it it was funny because when we played derby I went to go watch Huddersfield Town play Chelsea, the opening Premier League game of the season. And I had a great time. One of my mates is a Huddersfield fan. He had a spare ticket and I was like, you know what, I'm going. Because I just think I appreciate football a lot. And I went to the pub to watch uh, Leeds just absolutely destroy Derby on their day. But Derby, I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to say it. Derby County, um, they have um, they started off a bit shaky under the new manager. And they've turned into a quite a good force now in real life in the season. Doing quite well. Starting to pick up a few wins and some good wins as well. So it is Derby County against Leeds United will be the first game of the episode. So it will be Derby County that will get us underway in this championship fixture. And it's Leeds United. They did beat Stoke City well in by Rook. Great interception straight away. And we'll have a bit of confidence beating a newly, re newly relegated side uh, in a tough tide against uh, Stoke City in the last game. Here is Sayers and uh, he's Douglas. He's well far forward here. He's onside. Douglas, he can swing a ball into the box. And it goes to the back post. Up goes Hernandez. Headed away. And good defending by Derby County. And here is Mount. I think he's, he, he's, he's on the fringes of the England squad, I believe, as well. And the atmosphere here from Derby, Derby County fans is electric. They really are bringing the noise, but we won't let that intimidate us. We will make sure we go about our business as per usual. As a ball played into the box, Peacock Farrell's decided to come. Good strong fist on it. And Huddleston goes in there with a challenge on Alioski. Phillips picks up the ball, laid off towards Alioski. He's going forward. That's a good ball up towards uh, Barry Douglas. Douglas then, laid inside towards Click. Click's waiting for the runners. Sees Sayers in space. Finds Sayers. Now forward to Roof. Sayers gives the ball away. Poor. And we're looking to pile on the pressure. And Hernandez has done really well. Still Pablo Hernandez looking to skip past his man. Hernandez with a fake shot. And he's not going to get through the derby defence. A lot of white shirts around him then as he picks up the ball. Well in by Cooper. And the tempo at Derby here is 100 mile an hour from both sides. We have been the better side and we're getting a lot of joy down the wings. Here is Pablo Hernandez looking to get to on his left foot to cross it. And it goes up towards Saez on the volley. It might come to Roof. And it hits Roof and it's cleared away by Bryson. Now Luke Ayling going forward down the right hand side. Again, we're looking to get around the outside of Derby. Hernandez on side. Right foot ball into the box. Will be the first man. It's gone behind for the game's first corner kick. And it's going to be Pablo Hernandez that will take it and out swing it towards a penalty spot. Cooper rises well and Scott Carson down to his right hand side. No, it's not even Carson, it's caught me out. It's Henson. I don't know much about him. I thought Scott Carson was in goal for Derby County. He's given the ball away. Good save from him. Roof will lay off. Here is Phillips. In towards Roof again. Back towards Phillips and the passing and Derby's deep the deep defensive line is staying strong and it's all Leeds United in the opening 19 or 20 minutes or so. Douglas has got himself into a bit of trouble giving the ball away to Wilson and Derby looking to hit us on the break. Huddleston, now Wilson. Why would not let him select Click? 
Now Forsyth. Wilson. No, oh, alien has got some work to do here. As the ball played into the box, edge of the area. Mount with the header. He's not going to trouble Peacock Farrell over the bar. And it's taken 22 minutes for Derby County to have their first attack of the game. And Derby looking to it. He's on the break. Click goes in well. Wins the ball. Now Holgate. Laid off towards Ailing, that's a good ball. Now Cleek has seen Hernandez on the outside. Hernandez bombing down that right hand side as he's done all game. Here he goes, Pablo Hernandez. Ball blade in low, size in space. But oh, he tried to pass it into the back of the net. And he's got it horribly wrong. It's another let off for Derby County. Well worked by Leeds United. We see size just trying to pass it into the back of the net. Phillips' mop is in the way and it goes wide of the mark. Size should have done better. Well done by Hernandez though to find size unmarked in the box. Here's Anya, the Derby County coming forward. Holgate's going to have to come across because Douglas has been pushed into a central position. We need to make sure we keep our shape, boys. Huddleston trying to make things happen for Derby County. He's received the ball back. Here's find Anya. Anya back towards Huddleston as Derby looking to go in front just before the break. Cleared away by Holgate. Anya's there and clicks there to intercept. And we've been cheap in possession there just before half time. Two minutes will be added on. Saez goes in well. Oh, Sayers, mate, what are you doing? As the referee does blow the half-time whistle, with Leeds should be feel they should be one up. A great chance falling to Samuel Sayers in that first half, and it's 0-0 at the break. So it will be Roof that will get us off and running in the second half. Been a great performance so far by Leeds, and Phillips will win the ball well. That's what he's in the side to do. Holgate, great distribution from him, great vision as well. Douglas with the chest on towards Alioski. Alioski trying to beat his man is surely foul. The referee will deem it as a free kick in a dangerous position for Lee to whip this into the box, aiming for Liam Cooper in the box, and it goes, Saez, the smallest man on the pitch, he's headed it downwards, and nobody reacted for Lee's, and Hassan is easy to make this, it's easy for him to make the save. Oh, Darby got space, here's short, and they've gone 1-0 up, it's Bryson, and Darby have just gone in front with a great bit of play, ah, no one went to close him down, Bryson's going to take that on, 20, 20 yards out, Smashes it into the top corner. Peacock Farrell, absolutely no chance to see the build up here. Huddleston chucked the dummy in there. Even Roof was getting back deep to try and help out. And it's gone into the back of the net. And the Leeds fans behind that goal look a little bit disappointed. Oh no, it was Derby County fans behind that goal, I should have said. So a tactical change then from us. Three players are coming on. As you can see, Izzy Brown comes on to replace Click. Foden comes on to replace Saez. And also Harrison comes on to replace Ali Oski at left midfield. Just feel... We've got a bit more attacking emphasis in the side. Now, here he is, Ford and the new man. will wear the number eight shirt. Laid out to the right-hand side, where Luke Aylin is. Aylin will just hold on to the ball. Look to bring Ford in. Ford and trying to get past his man. But Huddleston's had a fantastic game for Derby County. And he's there to win the possession back for his teammate. De Brown will pick up that loose ball. Lay back, Phillips. Now here is uh, Ford and Looks for the run of Hernandez, that's a decent ball through, Hernandez on the front foot, he needs some support though, no one really helping him, but Hernandez has done well, Hernandez then cuts back inside, plays the ball into the box, Izzy Brown's a target, it's cleared away, and he nearly got on the end of it, Phillips will pick up the ball, but his pass is a stray one, and Derby will have possession, now here he is, Ford and does well, sees the vision there, and it's a chance here, it's a shot from Harrison in off the post! A great bit of play, and Foden's involved, the two substitutes involved then, Foden with the assist, and Harrison with a fantastic finish, Oh, what a great goal that was. Look at this for a bit of play from Ford and the vision and the ability to play that pass. And then Harrison just hits his first time in off the post. Oh, that's a great goal, lads. It's a great goal. I'm getting... That's a fantastic finish away from home as well. Bang, in off the post. The Leeds fans behind that goal were making a lot of noise. They're certainly making more noise now. The roof lifted off when uh, Harrison smashed that into the back of the net. We're back on level terms. Ford and some well there. Now here is Phillips. Laid out towards Douglas. Douglas then ball forward towards our goal scorer in Harrison. Laid off towards Camille Roof. Camille Roof, Foden's inside of here. Here he is. Foden on his debut and he's done it. He's done it. It's two goals in quick succession for Leeds United and it's Phil Foden, the new signing. Oh, brilliant. He's come on. He's got an assist and he's got goal to his name. What a brilliant debut this lad is having here. Oh, look at the run there. Roof seen him, put on a plate for him on his weaker left foot, smashes it past the keeper, and we deserve that. We have been quite... We've been OK this game. We've, been, we've played really well, and we're in front now. It's 2-1. Douglas, good ball up towards uh, Calvin Phillips. Phillips has seen Harrison. Harrison is the onside. Here he goes. Harrison, lay back, and it's Hernandez, and it's a good shot, and it's a good save. Sorry it was Roof. My apologies. I thought it was Hernandez that was there, and we should have... Literally doubled our lead to two goals then. Roof with the shot on his left foot, pretty much straight at the goalkeeper. And we should have wrapped up the three points then. Hernandez will take the corner kick and it goes. Holgate will jump and try to win it. Well done by Phillips now, Foden. Just gets the foot on the ball as we're into the injury time here. 
Hellgate will play out wide and there goes the final whistle it's two from two from Leeds United a new manager Marcelo Bielsa this has been a great performance we did go behind in this game but the substitutions worked well and managed to get us back on back in front and deserved the three points then the goal for Derby did come against the run of play Phil Foden had an outstanding debut when he came on he changed the game he got an assist and he got a goal Socky to Davis like he's his best mate there's maybe a relationship there but it, we have picked up three points we win by two goals to one so the next game of episode then we are in the Carabao Cup I have done a cup team sheet there it is we've gone with Blackman in goal Erling keeps his place in the side Bradley Shaughnessy and Pierce for sure O'Kane and Saez in the middle three Harrison on the right Roberts on the left and Patrick Bamford up front I am going to sim it because I couldn't care less about the Carabao Cup I just it's just a distraction to the league I would rather win the league or the league is our main focus we do manage to pick up the win and we get into the round we're getting to the hat for the next round. Uh, Harrison and Roberts getting themselves a goal each. So Luke Allen did get sent off in the game against Crew Alexandra in that cup game. So he will have one match suspension. So next game of the episode then we're at home against Rotherham United and the Yorkshire Rivals. Oh well it's a Yorkshire derby. I won't say it was Rivals to be fair. A couple of changes in the side to tell you about from the, the win away at Derby. Brady comes in for the suspension of Ailing. He got sent off in the game against Crew in the Cup. Foden comes in to replace Saiz, who drops to the bench. Everyone else keeps their place in the side. It's Leeds United against Rotherham United. There we go then. It's Roof that will get us off and underway here. We're in front of our home fans and hopefully we can do something. I was tempted to start Harrison, but he played midweek against Crew. He came on against Derby and I just feel that he needs a bit of a rest. We need to look after him. Here is Click and Hernandez. He's in acres of space. Here he is. Pablo Hernandez for a, an early lead. He gets his shot blocked. He will play back into the middle. Foden would have been there, but it's cleared away by Rotherham United. Phillips will return. Now here is Foden in towards Alioski. Foden making the run forward. Now Click. Round that the outside here is Pablo Hernandez looking to dink into the box. Blocks. Oh, Roof might get something out of it. Click. Let off. Foden. Oh, what a great goal. What a great finish from Phil Foden. Oh, he's taking the championship to light. Eight million pounds spent. Very, very, very well indeed. And a lovely celebration. Is that? Yeah, I don't know what celebration that is. is that a Griezmann one? Is that a Phil Foden one? I don't even know, lads. But that was a great finish. That's what I know. That was a fantastic finish. Hernandez. Tried to play into the box. Roof got something on it. Came out to click. Oh, that's a great finish. Laid off to Foden on the volley. Into the back of the net. Had bend on it and everything. A great finish. Great technique from the young man. And the keeper for Rotherham had no chance. And we're 1-0 up. Here come Rotherham Potter. Here's Vassell. Now here is Williams. Short. Good save from Peacock Farrell. And Douglas will stop it from going out from a corner. Yes, he will. He plays it down the line. Looking towards Alioski. And we're looking to go forward here. Here's Alioski. We'll cut back inside. Surely challenged from behind. The referee said no, he got the ball. When Cooper goes well in well to win it back. Now Alioski. Oh, Alioski, mate. What are you doing? That was a terrible ball. And his man in laid out to the right side. This is a good bit of play, this. Keep Peacock Farrell will come. Claim it. Well done, lad. Good goalkeeping from the young man in goals for Legion. I click then. He's seen Foden in space. And here he goes. He's seen the run of Alioski. That's a great, delightful ball through. Alioski onside. Yes, Alioski onside. Cross comes in. Roof is there. It's cleared away. Brady will win the header. Here is Hernandez. Bit of trickery from Hernandez, lovely in towards Click. Now here is Phillips seeing the run of Alioski down that left hand side. That's a decent ball. Alioski again on side. Can he get the delivery right this time? He can. That's a great ball in. Hernandez! What the hell, Pablo? Oh my lord, that was the shot, boys. And Hernandez got it horribly wrong. Ford and Nilly intercepted. Then it just bounced off him and Rotherham looking to come forward with Matok. Brady's got work to do because there's two men. Reese Williams, Brady then. Still, he's done well there to hold it up. Oh my lord, it's gone in. It's gone in and Rotherham United have equalised just before half-time. Three minutes to go before the half-time whistle. To be fair, it's Vassell with a nice little finish. And uh, I'm just disappointed there. We should have done better there. Brady should have done better, I should say. He got the wrong side. It was outnumbered, though. It was two versus one. Rotherham capitalised. And that's a great, that's a great finish. Looking at it from that angle, that is a fantastic finish. Take my hat off to the Rotherham man. On the left foot, curling. Just play, place into the back of the net. Peacock Farrell. Not that far away from it, so but it's a good finish go. and uh, well, Rotherham at level. Well, there goes the half-time whistle, 1-1 one, one at the break here. Rotherham have got themselves back in it. They've not played particularly bad, to be fair. They've had a couple of chances, and it was a great finish from Kyle Vassell. No changes for either side then at the start of the second half. Here's Alioski. 
Laid inside towards Phillips. Phillips up towards Click. Lovely. And that's great play by Leeds. Good football. Very direct. Here is Hernandez. Then cross will come in. Roof on the spectacular. And it's gone into the back of the net. Get in. It's Camille Roof. Oh, oh brilliant. Camille Roof has put Leeds back in front right at the start of the second half with a fantastic finish. And the Leeds fans look with a bit of a shock on it on their faces that Roof's been able, able to produce that. A great, spectacular uh, bicycle kick, overhead kick into the bottom corner, and it was a great, it was a great, it was a great goal, wasn't it? It was a great goal. Nearly took the Rotherham's player head off, but Roof got there before the ball first. Rotherham man keeps his head, and we're two one up, and you can see what it means to the to Marcelo Bielsa. Great goal. We're looking to use the space here. Alioski made the run down the line. Here he goes. Alioski then. First time ball into the back post. Hernandez arrives. Hernandez places it just past the post. And Hernandez on his right foot. He could have had a hat trick if it had been on his left. He would have scored that as well. Unlucky of Pablo Hernandez. So we're making changes ourselves. Free. Harrison Brown and Clark come on. Hernandez, Click and Oli Alioski depart. The reason why I'm taking Hernandez off, I think we'll play in midweeks when it's keep him fresh. We are two one up. Good to see uh, Jack Clark getting his first senior start. Uh, first senior start. He's not starting. It's true. He's coming on the sub. First senior appearance. There we go. <laughs> a lot of Rotherham bodies behind the ball here for them. Now Ford and laid out wide. Here is Jack Clark going down the byline. Oh, swing it in. Oh, towards Harrison. He won't get there. Oh, and Roof might get it. And oh, Harrison's gone down injured. He's holding his shoulder by the looks of things. And that's not good news for Leeds United. Another injury in the camp, but the attack will still go on in the play. Here is Jack Clark. He has a dig. Oh, it's gone just wide. A great effort from the young man. The confidence to take it on from that distance to try and find that top corner, to bend it into the top corner as well. It's not far wide, and Jack Clark would have definitely burst onto the scene if that would have banged into the top bin. Well done by Phillips. We're into the last five minutes of the game. Here is Phillips. Now Foden. Foden will get slightly through towards Clark. Clark might get there. It's cleared away. Then we're always looking to get in behind the back line of Rotherham United. Corner kick then. Harrison will take it. And it goes up goes Phillips. He might come to roof yet, but it's gone behind for another corner kick. Harrison will take it to near post. Izzy Brown will look to flick it on. It's hit the defender and gone behind for another corner. Harrison will take it towards the back post. Holgate will rise well. And we've got ourselves another corner kick. It's like five corners in a row, lads. This is ridiculous. Izzy Brown this time will look to play it. Phillips is there. Keeper comes and claims it. Foden and does a sensible thing in finding Cooper. Now here is Phillips. Laid off towards Harrison. Harrison in towards Roof. Roof will just hold on to the ball. We'll find Foden. Foden looking at shoot. It might bounce to Roof. It might bounce to Harrison. Yeah. And Rotherham will clear it as the referee's assistant and the fourth official have put up the three added minutes of this game left. And Lee's in full control here. Douglas. Now here is Phil Foden, up towards Roof, Roof on the turn, Roof looking at a turn and shoot, confidence from him, you've already seen a spectacular goal from him this game, and the referee does blow the final whistle, we have managed to pick up a maximum of nine from nine points, that is three wins out of three for Leeds United, and this side are going places, they're playing some good stuff, they're opening teams up, the new signings have done exceptionally well for us as well, it's finished, Leeds United 2. Rotherham United won. So boys, this episode is coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, we are joint top of the league with Norwich City. Both of us have played three. We've won three, but we have conceded one goal more than what Norwich have, which gives them a slightly better goal difference, which puts them at the top of the table. But so far, so good. Three wins, three games. New signings doing well. We've got that understanding. We're doing really well. As you can see, we do go play a tough game against Swansea City away from home in the next episode. But thank you so much for watching, boys. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like. And I will see you on another video very, very soon. And goodbye.